Hello and welcome to this PHP tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be talking about um, doing up oh, uploading of files using PHP and a simple uh, HTML form. Um, okay, so let's get started. What do we need first of all? Well, we need um, uh, Apache running, our local host running, and obviously we need um, Firefox running as well. Let's just uh, minimize this down. Okay. What else I've got here at the moment is um, three file types. I've got um, a GIF format picture, and I've got a, a JPEG format picture, and then I've got an ICO, ICO file um, as well. So there's three different types here. Now, so let's move over to PSPAD, and what I've got is a simple uh, uh, HTML file, and I've named it index.html. And I've got a PHP file, and I've named it upload.php, and they're all on the same level, okay? So, and I've just made a simple h1 and put uploading files and hr tag. So let's get started. First thing that we need <coughs> is a form, and the action, as normal, uh, I'm going to send it to upload.php method as normal, which I I would use all the time, is post. Okay, and the next parameter we need of the the form. Um, elements is basically called um, uh, yeah, sorry the enc uh, I spell it right enc type and that is equal to multi parts and forward slash form data okay nice and simple right just out of interest if you do not put enc type multi multi part forward slash form data it is not classed as an a uh, uploading um, form okay so that is hugely important what you need to do next thing what we're going to do is just basically write um, file here and input type equals file this is another type of input field this is so you can search your uh, desktop or search your computer for the um, file that you want to upload and we're going to give it the name of upload okay and that's the only thing that we need to do okay within the same line I'm basically going to make a, a submit button so we can say to the form right now I'm ready to submit and we're just going to give it the name of submit and the value equals to um, upload file now okay it's nothing more to it than that so let's just control this to save come over to um, our file and refresh and that's what it looks like, nice and simple. Sorry for the German, but I'm on a German computer in Germany, so that's that just says browse basically. Okay, and that's what it does. That's all it does on your computer. That will say browse. Okay, and if we click in there, it does that. Well, at the moment, it does absolutely nothing. Okay, and if you press uh, upload file, it will take us to the page and do nothing. So let's make it do something, shall we? This page is basically now finished. We could put an input, um, a, a hidden field in there with a uh, max file size, um, but I prefer to do it within PHP. So, so first thing we need to do is to clarify if the form has been submitted, which we're going to do right now, and else we're going to shoot the user straight back over to um, index.html because they shouldn't be coming here without pressing the submit button. Okay, next thing we need to do is basically make a few variables um, and we're catching some um, information, an array from the files uh, super global. So what we're catching first of all is the name and what we use is the files super global. And in this we need to basically talk to the upload um, super global or the upload element which is this. So this input field here um, holds with inside of it an uh, array of information and we are catching that array so obviously upload being the key okay and then the value of this key is going to be name okay so that's what we're catching okay next thing we need to do is we need to catch the temp name and this is when we press um, is there, what am I doing? When we press the submit button to upload the files now, it is given a, uh, a dynamic PHP uh, temp name, which is what we need to catch as well. Otherwise, we can't move the file uh, anywhere. So, and that is basically temp name. All of these, these names, this name and this temp name, you have to keep the same. This bit doesn't matter. This one corresponds to the, the name of the input field, of obviously upload. But 
these here are the basically the names of the um, values that you are basically collecting okay so next thing we want to know is the type because we want to know it, um, that it's a JPEG or whether it's an EXE file we want to validate um, what type of file type it is okay and next thing we want to know is um, the size of it well this is important because we don't want someone uploading a huge file we want to give them parameters and say look uh, or limits as such and say look you can only upload this amount of file size now we can do that with inside the form element like I said by putting a, um, a hidden field of max file size but I like to do it here okay what we're going to do is first of all we're just going to echo out this information so we're just going to echo out uh, name and put a break tag and then uh, temp and then break and then type and then break and then size and that's it okay so that's cool let's control this to save that all looks pretty much okay and let's move over to um, our HTML that we've already made okay and now we're going to search for a file so I've got logo.jpg on my desktop so let's upload file now jumps over to upload.php and as you can see if I zoom in you've got logo.jpg JPEG, which is the name of the file which is what it was now c forward slash of sleep wham temp php dot temp is the temp name that php has given it and then we've got the type is image forward slash jpeg as well and then 6259 is the size in kilobytes so it's six kilobytes big basically okay that's all the information that we need to be able to process the form um, so let's just jump back over to here give that a refresh and now we just need to move back over to here we can delete this and all we need to move on to now is um, clarifying or validating um, whether the file type is JPEG, GIF or anything that we're allowing a person to upload. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is uh, test the type of the file. So we say uh, if type is equal to and what it is is image JPEG. Okay, and we're just going to copy this and we're going to say or because it doesn't want to be uh, anyway we're just going to say or okay and we're going to delete the e as well and we're going to say or gif these are the, the file types we're going to allow we're just going to push a uh, another bracket on the end and then curly braces here and then another bracket there just to close it all okay um, if it's not equal to uh, image jpeg peg with an e image jpeg or file type um, gif um, then we're just going to basically say you ain't going any further and um, we're going to echo out this um, type is not allowed okay or we can say um, this type and we'll say type there as well so it, it clarifies what we're doing okay so um, else uh, we'll just say echo um, the file type type is allowed nice and simple so let's control this to save and come back over to our form we're on index.ph or index.html. We've got our logo logo.jpg in there already. And pass there on line 18. Okay, even I make mistakes. There we go. Semicolon there. Control S to save. And we'll refresh this. Yes, and the new. Okay, the file type image JPEG is allowed. So that's good stuff. Okay, now why did I put the I the ICO file on my desktop? Well that's because I want to test. Um, it's called Roma.ico. Now we've got Roma.ico uh, in there. Uh, now let's upload file. Okay, the type image x dash icon is not allowed. Okay, so we're not allowing anyone to upload this file type. Okay, so that's basically now the file type validated. We're only letting the person upload uh, any form of JPEG or um, GIF formats. So, um, yeah, and what we can also do up here just to make the form look a little bit nicer we'll just say um, well there we can't we'll put it inside here 
if the person's done so index.html I'll just so it displays the form as well and let's just refresh it again just to show you what it did and there we go the, the type is not allowed blah 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 okay right that's um, the type done next thing we need to do is size I'm going to do this in the next tutorial and finish up all the actual uploading and moving the files to the web server in the second part of the tutorial um, if you don't go to the second part my name is David Thorne please come and visit me here at thornwebdesign.de send me any requests any questions I will answer every single question there is sent to me and any problems I will try and help with you try and help you um, and subscribe to me please on YouTube and come to my website and subscribe to me there all right well see you in the second part of the tutorial and goodbye